<laughs> What's going on, guys? Your boy Chad Ash. Uh, back at it again with the next episode. Uh, doing a unit showcase. I normally do this um, once a month during the room removal update, but I've been getting so many questions lately with regards to how units are ruined and my thought process behind this ruin. So I'm going to talk about the units that I primarily use um, in the arena offense as well as some units I picked up in the last. Um, uh, last session, so you guys can kind of hear my insight um, and what I do. So we'll start out with Ha. She's obviously been the number one question. Um, you know, how do you have a rune? What's going on? Um, the biggest question that I get is I tell them I have Swift on her. And they're like, Swift what? I'm like, it's Swift. It's a broken set. A broken Swift set with speed, attack, and attack. And they're like, okay, well, what should I put for the subset? I'm like, you don't need to. You just put whatever it is you need to put on there to get the stats you want, okay? Look at any top-end uh, Chloe user. They know that Swift Will is going to be the most optimal setup for them, but at the end of the day, if the, um, if they have an opportunity to put some rune, random rune like this, obviously assuming that it has HP, right? They're not going to put attack rune, but let's say this rune was like a five-slot, was like a five-slot rune right here. Okay, they're going to put that rune, if this is a five-slot rune, they're going to put that, you know, down here. Be why? Because it is 17 speed. They don't give a shit about <laughs> all this other stuff. If they got 17 speed and a, and a little bit of hit point percentage, yeah, buddy, they're going to put it down there. At the end of the day, you need to find out what the, you know, what the focus of your unit is and what it needs um, to make it, um, you know, stronger than the rest. So... Um, if you have a unit that's built on speed or built on hit points or whatnot, you look for runes that have uh, those kind of subsets on them. So, for example, um, these two runes, okay? The reason why they're on there is the speed primarily, but um, out of all the other runes that I have, they have the highest amount of speed, crit rate, and hit point percentage. So, um, you know, obviously I have other runes with maybe a couple percentage more attack, or maybe a little bit less crit rate and some crit damage. But my goal um, is speed, no matter what. Um, attack, if I can get it. And then uh, the crit rate. Um, and then, of course, um, because I'm utilizing this in the arena, as well as PvE, then the hit points is nice as well. So, it doesn't matter. What subset it is, unless it's like a, a, a very, very poor subset. So like um, you got certain units that that shine really, really well with um, some of the newer subsets like the Revenge or the Will or whatnot. So you have a lot of, a lot of people utilizing uh, rune setups with Violent, like Violent Revenge, Violent Will, Swift and Nemesis, um, you know, stuff like that. Um, then yeah, it is important to try to get a prevention up. But at the end of the day, if you have a unit that's the only reason why it can shine is because if it has a, an absurd amount of a certain stat, then put whatever runes on that that give you those stats. Um, let's see. Uh, Roke is a little bit broken, and I'm going to show you why. So one of the new, another units that I just recently six starred, um, Kaz, uh, leveling him up right now. Stats. Overall are good, but um, unfortunately this Rage Blade set has no speed substats. So, uh, you know, with, with respect to Hua, he's a little bit slower. And if he's my primary defense breaker on my arena offense team, then I'm kind of SOL because, you know, the defense break is not a, is not, you know, a guaranteed thing. It's only 50% chance. Whereas Roke, he has a 50% chance, but he has, a, you know, chances... Um, to attack it additionally and reproc it again. So, um, you know, I think that um, I have to, you know, eventually, you know, get better runes, but hopefully find some runes with a little bit of speed so I can get up there and and make this guy a little bit more useful. Um, overall, though, pretty happy. He's not maxed out, but stats are looking really good. Um, had to break up uh, Ardella again to put the runes on. Um, I really like the fact that he has the accuracy. Uh, so it makes, um, you know, landing the skills a little bit easier without trying to focus on it too much, like without focus runes or accuracy subsets, whatever. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, you know, I'd like to have a little bit more crit rate here, 
Crit damage is okay, um, considering I'm using a five-star rune, so um, I will make the switch when I get the runes leveled up, because I do have a blade rune that I need to max out, and to give him more hit points, that's, that's going to be nice, and get him up in that uh, 190 range, um, so he could do a little bit more damage, um, and then probably try to get one of these runes back on Roke, um, if I can. So Roke, right now, stat-wise, um, is a little bit lower. Um, he was sitting at plus 1156 and 50% crit rate with 152% crit damage. Um, but I, I recently moved um, the blade runes from um, Kaz, or from him to Kaz, just so I can uh, play around with Kaz and test out his damage. Um, but I, it's weird because I think it's it's meant for me to put um, the best, best runes in the best unit. Um, as you can see, looking at the base stat of both of these units, this one is a little bit uh, better. I mean, obviously the stats will still go up here, but even right now, um, not max versus max, um, the stats are better on Kaz. So overall, the 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 runes um, that I put on both of them, you know, are going to do more for the unit that has the better base stats because we focus on um, runes um, with percentages, um, you know, hit point percentages or attack percentages or crit rate percentages, so on and so forth. Um, we look for the ones with the highest percentage um, so that we get the most out of our base stats. So Roke, even though he is low, um, I utilize him a lot with Corona, um, which gives me 50% uh, crit rate, 20% uh, for his leader skill, plus the 25 to 30% uh, from his buff. So even though he's running at 44, when I utilize him in the arena, I'm running with about 94. So again, even though I don't have the crit rate here um, and it looks bad, it still um, works wonders because I run him with a crit rate buffer. All right. Um, Lucian hasn't changed too much. I got a little bit more um, attack on my unit now just because of the fatal set going up to 35% versus 30% um, versus, uh, uh, from the original. Again, another broken set. Um, no... Rhyme or rhythm for reason. It's just one of those runes uh, that you know you gotta have to throw on there to keep his crit rate up and crit damage up. So um, Jameer, uh, I do utilize him quite a bit. So he generally runs hit point, hit point, um, attack. But right now he's running hit point, attack, attack, and you're gonna see the reason why here in a moment. Um, he definitely is better for me to run uh, hit point, hit point attack as the runes that I use to set him up like that gives him about 33k. And obviously his his one and only goal is to uh, be alive so that he can continuously reset my units. But um, at the end of the day, I do I do have fun in the, in the arena offense. And because I utilize uh, Jameer as a speed leader, to increase the damage of Hua, as well as the speed, right, to get the jump on the attack age increases and stuff like that, that means that I have uh, a little bit more support on my team than I would like. So lately, I've been utilizing him as a hybrid set up with two attack runes versus two hit point runes, so I can get more bang for my buck um, there from the um, uh, this go right here. Um, and this skill, uh, for me, with these stats, has critted in the uh, 15 to 17k range. So that's that's pretty good for me. Generally, it's in the 10 to 14, but I have gotten up in the 15k. So that makes it definitely worthwhile um, to use. Again, focusing on the uh, arena offense, I'll, I'll just kind of you know, take a look here. Uh, you guys know that I made the switch. Uh, episode 76, Dancing with Delphoy. Uh, she's now Violent Will. Speed, hit point, hit point. A um, little bit squishier with 27k hit points, so I want to get her above 30 again. Just waiting for the right runes um, to get that done. And when I get that done, I will let you know. Boom. Um, uh, Brian, we already took a look at him. Um, 45k hit points, broken despair set with 84% resistance. Um, <laughs> fail. I'm not really sure why I'm talking about it because it's not a read offense, but... Uh, just showing you out there. Let's see. We already took a look at Kaz. Uh, Corona. Kind of slacking on the rune upgrades here. Um, should bring that up to plus 12. 
uh, should bring this up to plus 12 and should bring up this, this to plus 12. Now, considering his, he's a support unit, why is it, you know, what's the focus? Um, why should I be doing that, right? Why should I be focused on uh, getting that done? Well, here's the deal, guys. Um, these, even though he is a support unit, right, it's, I'm banking on him to, you know, in most situations to survive. Um, and I'm going to show you a combination um, here coming up that, you know, gives me even more reason to try to get these up to plus 12 so I can get more um, defensive base substats. Like, I like a hit point percentage here. I would like, um, you know, accuracy or resistance right here. And this one, you know, again, accuracy, resistance, defense percentage, whatever. Um, so I'll get those runes up here, but I've kind of been slacking um, because I've been just working on other units. So arena offense is covered. All right, so that's pretty much it. Generally, it's um, oh my fault, Bella. Bella's up in there. Bella, super excited. Um, really, really happy with her stats considering they're violent. Um, runes are looking really good. Again, guys, what do you know? A broken set. Um, that's that's the name of the game. Got to get it done. Um, stats are looking really good. Um, that room can improve because I'm not really focused on attack, but that's just what I got. Um, 168 speed, 26, 27k hit points, I think. So utilize her a lot in the arena, go wars everywhere. This is a great, great unit for everything. You guys know that already. I don't need to tell you that. Um, let's get right to the next one, um, which is the latest and greatest unit that I picked up. Um, <laughs> it's funny. They're both right here next to each other that I summoned in the same session. Uh, the Water Beast Monk. The Water Beast Monk. So... Uh, Water Beast Monk, uh, let's take a look at his skills. Uh, strikes the enemy, it re increases your hit uh, attack speed with two turns with a critical hit. And then we got the uh, Defend, decreases the inflicted damage to zero for three turns when your ally is attacked and receives 50% of the original damage. Big, big, big skill. Okay. Um, and then. Uh, trick of Water attacks all enemies uh, with the spell of power. It decreases the attack speed for two turns with an 80% chance, and it's based on max HP, okay? So when I awaken this guy, um, this skill, the first skill is going to strengthen to be based off my max HP as well to allow him to do more damage as he's an HP unit, and then has the uh, opportunity to stun a unit for one turn with a 30% chance. Which is huge, uh, which is huge. So, um, because he has a built-in stun effect, right? Because he has a built-in stun effect, um, and he has, you know, a really, really good skill with a high uh, reusable time, I highly recommend um, a violent set on this one again, um, focused on uh, speed, on where, where's it at <laughs> speed on two hit point on four and then hit point on six but um at the end of the day you gotta you gotta you gotta make it do what it do and sometimes you just don't have the runes to do it so i think the next best is to go with swift and energy and i think it it's kind of weird guys so um i think it's like it like obviously I, it's been it's been six months um more or less since i've had a you know a, another five star and I'm really, really excited as this one is considered probably one of the worst ones. Um, I think it's actually the perfect, <laughs> the perfect one for me. Um, I have way too many wind. I have no high end water tanks. I have no high end fire tanks. Um, in addition to all the you know water fire tanks, I don't the, with the water based units. I don't have anything um, with the exception of Kaz now that's, uh, you know, built off of speed and tankiness, right? Speed and hit points. So, um, you know, for him to have the skill set that he has and the opportunity to um, stun with the first attack, his regular attack, then I do like a violent on him. So eventually I will get a violent set on him, you know, when I can. But right now I'm just going to get my swift um, on there and take advantage of the extra speed. Um, the extra speed plus this... Um, you know, increase the attack speed for two turns is going to be really nice. As you can see here, I focused on um, HP percentage, uh, crit rate, 
in the substats. So all my runes have HP percentage um, or crit rate in the substats. So um, it's and all these runes were laid uh, were laying around. So that that was the big thing. Like I didn't have to break as a free to play gamer. And I don't, I'm gonna take that back. As a person that's not dumping money left to right, right? Because you you know that my wife and I have bought and gift cheddars before in the past for us. You know, uh, so I can't really say I'm not a free to play or free to play anymore. But um, since we don't got the uh, uh, how do I say the money to kind of dump left to right into the game, we, we have to we don't have the opportunity to you know get all the runes and, and you know keep on energy refilling to get you know more and more runes and fill up you know this and that and so on. Um, so you know, I sometimes you just got to make do with what you do, and uh, I had all these runes available, um, so I try to. You know, get the best ones and, and, and just try to make it work. I think it's going to go really, really well. So um, that is the last one. And we'll, we'll go ahead and lead into it. We'll go ahead and see if you guys could bring me some luck. As I um, believe that um, Devilmont uh, should be saved for Game Changers. And mind you, uh, for some of the top-end players watching this game, uh, we're probably going to ag agree to disagree because they're not going to believe that the Water Beast Monk is a game changer. Um, where am I at here? Fail. Is it community? No. Nope. Shop. But I believe for me, um, it's going to do wonders. It's going to do wonders. Oh, fail. You got to be shitting me, man. Oh, hate it when it does that. Oh, man. I'm going to I'm gonna throw this phone. It had to happen. It had to happen. But it's whatever. We'll get back into it. I think I'm going to cut this part out. All right, we're back. I'm done raging. Okay, so we were in the process of uh, purchasing our Devil Ma. Thank you. And then I think we were removing all of the um, Devil Ma out. I must have taken them out already. So. You know, Devilmon, back in the day, I used to put it in all my decent four stars and, and, and whatnot that I was utilizing um, quite a bit, you know, just to make them stronger. But I, I do believe now that, you know, once you get up in the high-end runes, um, the high-end runes will, will take it, you know, take care of 90%, you know, 99% of what, um, what, you, what you need your unit to do. But, um, you know, when you get those Devilmons, you know, save them because, you know, you never know. One day you might get um, the unit that's, you know, going to be a game changer for you. And you might want to, you know, get him, you know, you want him to be maxed out as soon as possible so you can take full advantage of this. Where's the fifth one? Oh, there we go. So right now, uh, you know, obviously I'm going to max him out in skill, but I really want Hug. Hug is a five-turn recool downtime, and because they don't have the violence spec, um, I don't have, uh, I don't have the, you know, opportunity to get additional turns. So we'll see if we get lucky here. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Good deal. Yeah, that is good stuff. So we got exactly what we wanted. Um. Got this down to four, a little bit extra damage and a little bit extra harmful effect rate. So good, good. Definitely gonna max him out. Um, I think that he is gonna do well um, for me um, in, in all aspects of the game. So um, if you guys don't agree with me, we'll go ahead and talk about kind of what you know my situation is. My situation right now with dungeons, Giants V10 is on auto, but Dragons V10 is not. It is not 100% success rate, even though I can throw four of my win units in there and get the job done. Um, it's not uh, reliable. Anything could happen. Um, so 
having a water-based tank unit um, that can uh, prevent somebody from, you know, getting, you know, damaged and then um, having the opportunity to slow, AOE slow is great uh, because I don't have a, a unit. I don't have a fire base unit. I was actually going to level up uh, uh, the fire griffin, um, you know, to bring in a, an AOE slow. But now that I got this, now that I got this AOE slow, you know, there's no, there's no point. This is going to help me with Dragon's B10. So, you know, Dragon's B10, uh, I still need, you know, uh, more units to get the job done, but um, it's getting, it's getting better. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, let's see. So, and then we'll go ahead and throw my, this up here so you guys can kind of see what I'm thinking about. We'll go ahead and utilize this thing to kind of showcase teams, um, that I'm currently doing. As you guys watched for the longest time, I was util utilizing this one, um, that, uh, you know, basically allowed, you know, Hua just to one-shot people like crazy with the defense break, attack boost, and um, and the extra speed lead. But the one thing that I was lacking on is overall DPS, because once Hua was gone, um, uh, uh, once Hua was gone, I was pretty much done for. So my team evolved to um, taking out Bella and then putting in Roke. And so when Roke is in there versus the teams that I fight against, which is primarily fire, it did really well because the fire would be focused on the wind and um, the fire would be focused on the wind and then his, my units would be going you know crazy on it. So with Roke skill, DPS break, consecutive attacks, with all the crit damage, um, he does really, really good. But, you know, I always knew that you know, both of these units were sitting at, you know, the 40%. Actually, he was sitting at 50% crit rate, but she was at 41. And so I couldn't take full advantage of some of the rare units that I got. So then I dropped the speed and started adding um, Corona because I, I found out that the even though uh, this skill is not a good skill uh, with relation to speed lead, um, I realized that I did not need Jameer to reset burst damage units, right? So take a look at this, guys, because this is probably going to be a nice little pointer here. We always talk about the critical thinking and the synergy of your team. What's the point of having a resetter with Jameer when you have two units with passives? They don't even have a third base skill. This girl's skills, you know, she's on violence, so she's going to get a point. There is no reason to have Jameer anymore other than increase the speed of Hua to make her stronger. So, um, at least with, you know, back in the day when I had Jameer and then, you know, Bella, um, and, and my runes were not as good, then it got a little harder trying to keep up with the heals, but having the additional C's and using, you know, resetting to get the attack gauge increase, um, allowed me to definitely uh, knock out people that I couldn't, because what I did was I would, um, do a defense break and maybe I would get an additional turn. And because she has so much speed off of Jameer's leader, uh, then I would, you know, get the additional turns and use her heal to increase the attack age for everybody, including her. And after that defense break was gone, she would attack twice before any of their team would attack once and kill the person that was working on before they even got a chance to. Um, but again, because I'm using Roke now and I'm not focused on units that have, um, you know, big third skills, there's no point in having a unit that's going to reset, you know, game-changing skills when these, when these two don't. Um, Chisun is more than capable of solo healing, and, and, and as tanky as she is, I think she's at 37k hit points. Um, there's no reason to uh, have faith. So now, now we got the you know a different you know a different kind of um, you know setup to worry about. Um, somehow, <laughs> not really sure uh, how this will work, but somehow. Um, we'll be able to do a multitude of things. Um, one of which is to get um, let's see we got we could we could put Jameer in there and then throw Chandra, which if you guys don't know, where's he at? Heidi. Chandra. 
and then a defense breaker. So what that's going to do is it's going to give, again, the boost of speed to Hua for more DPS. The boost to speed for Chandra, who is uh, based off of speed and HP. Um, so right now, Chandra has like 170 or 180 speed. So it's very, very comparable with Hua. These got to be, you know, fast member jammers, right? In addition, he has 168 speed, so all of them are getting the benefit of the speed leader. Um, really, really cool. Uh, but in addition, uh, since it's a solo healer, but it doesn't have as many heals as Chisun, Chisun has two heals versus this one having one, there is a little bit more benefit of having this one since, um, you know, we might need um, the heal more so than not, but um, we might be able to get away with more than we planned for because of the fact of now we got Chandra and having that defense skill that allows us to protect somebody for three turns um, will prevent um, units from, you know, dying quickly. So what this will allow us to do, um, which is even more crazy, right? Um, we can take this out and do, go with something like this, with this, depending on, you know, what we're, what we're going for, or if we want to, you know, if we want to throw in a healer, we can do like this. And the reason why I say this, guys, is because, you know, in the top end of the game, right, I'm fighting a combination of, of light units um, and fire units, but generally speaking, the teams that are in the top 100 are utilizing light units for defense breakers, and what do we know? Light goes for dark, dark goes for like so. My thought process is I have, with with this unit now, who is generally considered a arena defense unit, right? I think it's more, it's stronger for me to have him in arena offense versus arena defense because of the fact that he has that defense skill and, and, and takes and has the unit take or has him take 50% of the damage. So why is this so important? I don't get what you're talking about, Charles. He has the opportunity to block all damage from one unit. It's the same thing that you would do with Neil. If you had the light fairy and put in vulnerability on a turn, he now offensively, since I can control the offense, I have the opportunity to right from the get-go, if I'm not AOE slowing the units, right? I have the opportunity to defend Corona versus any fire and light based team, any water or light based team, so on and so forth, right? Because the the fire units will always go for the wind unit. If there's no wind unit, they're going to go for a unit that is neutral, okay? So they're going to go for Hua, they're going to go for Bella, they're going to go for Corona. But generally speaking, when the light units um, put that defense break on, the units want to flutter to those, to the unit that has a defense break on. So if this guy gets a defense break on with the defense skill, they will focus on him without taking out damage. That's going to allow me to, you know, utilize his buff, his stun capabilities with the single target and AOE, and provide more damage and crit rate for him, more uh, crit rate for him, right? Because his damage is based on HP, so the attack power is not going to really work out too well. But the higher the crit rate on this guy... Um, the benefit of getting speed um, with the primary skill. So his first attack gives you, um, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, a speed buff. So in addition to all the speed he has, if he crits, he gets more speed. So when I get him on a violent set, he's going to have additional turns to, um, you know, go again. And, and then in addition, he's going to have the opportunity to stun with the first skill and... Um, put a speed buff on him in addition to all the speed he has. So if I'm getting additional turns, what that means is I'm going to get additional turns to put that defense skill on, and I can technically uh, keep this guy with the defend on at all times, unless I'm fighting a team that has a, a buff remover, and that can happen, right? Um, but obviously I'm going to set up my team to be strongest, whatever team I'm going for. I can essentially keep this guy vulnerable, let this guy take the hits, who's taken 50% of the damage, regardless if the, de de the unit's defense is broken. Um, if I'm fighting a Perna and the defense is broken and he's hit me for 22k, I will gladly take 11k on a 40k hit point unit versus 22 to 23k 
and get one shot in because this guy only has 23k. So you see, you see where I'm getting at, guys. Um, this is kind of um, this is God. This is like basically kind of more so critical thinking series than it is talking about units. So we might we might just call this a critical thinking video um, since there's so much kind of going on here. But that that's what I try to get you guys at. Just to try to make you think about all the units. What what may look like a bad unit to you uh, could look like a great unit for somebody else if they're looking at the team um, subjectively versus objectively. Is that right? Or objectively versus subjectively. I get those two words mixed up. Um, so, mind you, this is not the optimal thing. We might find out that um, um, when we, you know, if, if, uh, if we wanted to try to, you know, put somebody else in there, I mean, if we had a weaker team that just allowed us to plow through, maybe throw it here and, uh, risk it to get the biscuit with no heels, because whatever, like if I have a fire based team, um, or, you know, a fire, uh, like a, a light based team or whatever like that, primarily light, then I can. I could take the damage here and maybe, since the damage will be isolated on here, just, just go crazy on the DPS units and take them out before they take me out. But, you know, we don't need to get too crazy, right? We're still going to throw in a healer, um, depending on what we need. But obviously, I prefer using uh, Bella um, over Chasud, even though Chasud is the better healer with two heals. Uh, Bella is the one that's going to uh, make it a little bit easier for Hua to, um, you know, one-shot units, uh, especially with the high damage. High crit rate. So, okay. I think that's it, guys. Um, that's pretty much it. No other combinations that I could really, you know, think about throwing it in there. Um, the only other thing to do, uh, I mean, obviously we got, you know, we got Kaz. If we need more water um, to go over what whatever we're doing. Um, but, again, generally speaking, we're going to always have Juan in the mix unless... Unless a team is water based and um, she's the only fire or something like that, but but yeah, guys, uh, that is pretty much it. We'll go ahead and conclude this video. I hope this insight um, um, kind of helped you, you know, realize that um, what what critics may you know seem to be, you know, that they may uh, think in their in their mind is it's a bad unit. Um, it actually could be a good unit, and, and truthfully, any unit could be a great unit. It just depends on the synergy of your team and how you make it work to your advantage. Okay. So we'll go ahead and conclude it right there. Thank you all for tuning in. It's a pleasure to make these videos for you as always. It's your boy Childish with Childish Plays. Check it out. Take care. We'll see you next time, guys. I'm out.